Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and the topic today I'm going to discuss is about the design of pre-stress concrete section basis on the stress condition by evaluating the minimum section modulus when the beam is in flexion. So in this condition we need to satisfy two criteria. What are those criteria? First criteria is when the beam is having the maximum pre-stressing force at the time of transfer with the minimum moment sustained by the section and the second is the minimum pre-stressing force after all the losses with the maximum design moment. So these two, what are these two conditions? First is when the pre-stressing force will be maximum at the transfer and at that point the moment will be minimum by the section and the second criteria is when the pre-stressing force is minimum after all the losses when the beam uh, design moment will be maximum. So these two, two criteria should be satisfied during the design sol solution. So uh, let us come to the expressions. Well, uh, before expressing this formula, I would like to show you the diagram analysis. Then it will be quite easier to understand this formula. As you can see in this diagram, from this diagram, that this is the cross section of a beam where this is the location of the pre-stress tendon and the eccentricity is denoted as small e. When uh, describing this beam, this is the diagram of an initial pre-stress. So, what is the initial pre-stress? It is the combinations of the axial stress and the pre-stressing stress due to, that, due to that eccentricity. So, this is the initial stress. Mean, before applying any live load or considering the self weight or dead load these are the stresses a beam should resist so this is the initial pre stress so at the top fiber it will be in a minus sign and at the bottom fiber it will be in a positive sign so after that this diagram represents the pre stress after losses so you we all know that there will be a certain loss after this initial pre-stressing so this uh, loss should be implied by some factor which is denoted as eta here so this initial pre-stress multiplied by some factor is represented as a pre-stress after losses this diagram represents the dead load stresses at the top fiber at the bottom fiber this mg represents the moment due to the gravity load and zt is the section modulus of the section on the top fiber and zp is for the bottom fiber similarly this is for the live load or the imposed load or the ap applied load stress diagram where this uh, portion is representing the top fiber stress and this portion is representing the bottom fiber stress. So now I think you got the impression of this diagram. Now we will get back to the formula. So one uh, satisfying this one condition at the transfer, what will be the stress at the top fiber? It will be the initial stress at top fiber plus the dead load and what will be the bottom fiber at the transfer at the transfer remember at the transfer there will be no consideration of pre-stress loss so here what will be at the bottom fiber it will be that initial pre-stress minus this dead load stresses at the bottom fiber so this two is representing the top fiber and bottom fiber stresses where this should be greater than the tension in transfer 
and the greater equal to and this should be lesser equal to the compression at the tenor transfer so this is the meaning of this expression so now justifying this uh, condition number 2 which is at the time of working load so at the time of working load we will have the pre stress loss so here uh, considering this as f subscript sup and this f subscript in phi means superior and inferior they have just uh, denoted this as uh, this name so uh, in the top fiber at the working load uh, criterion it will be uh, so i have mentioned that as you can see that the minimum pre-stressing force after all losses so here will be the consideration of losses so this is the initial stress mean this into a factor which is defining the pre-stress after loss this plus dead load at top fiber plus live load at top fiber this is at the time of working load so this should be lesser equal to compression in working load at the period of compression in working load now similarly for the bottom fiber it will be a constant representing the pre-stress after losses into the initial stress minus dead load at the bottom fiber minus live load at the bottom fiber which should be greater than equal to the tension at the working load so these are the four expression by this four expression we will evaluate the minimum sectional modulus requirement so now this equation by solving this equation and this equation we will get an expression of this pattern where this i mean after solving this two equation we will get an ultimate equation of the stress at the top fiber the time of rupture which is represent as a ftr similarly this equation for the bottom fiber and this equation at the bottom fiber we will solve this both and we will get an expression of uh, um, in this manner where that stress will be representing the bottom fiber at the time of rupture the stress at the bottom fiber in the time of rupture now if we consider this two formula so this two formula uh, let's let's just ignore this thing by exchanging the expression to be ftr and fbr so here we can exchange this F, uh, fbr in that place and zb to that place so we can write this as this manner and we can also write this ftr in this place and z in this place and we can write this expression as in this manner as well so now to evaluate the pre-stressing force we will only just have to exchange the position of this individual um, formula so here as you can see this expression is exchanged in this manner mean this sf superior has uh, taken the place in this position and this f T, uh, tt has taken the position of f superior so the expression has just only arranged in its suitable way and this expression is nothing but a representation of this where this constant has been divided by all together by this expression and by putting all the positive sign here and this greater sign will be changed to the lesser sign so after getting all the expression in 
with respect to f superior and f inferior we will put the formula of f superior and f inferior which was the initial stresses at the top fiber at the bottom fiber